How's it going everybody? Good morning and this is a continuation on the build of switching out my Aqua Kings with these Candy Jade Green Linear Switches 62 gram stocks. Um, I don't have the material list so actually let me pop that up for a second before I get started. Uh, let's see. Are they still on sale? Yes, they are. So the 56 grams or 55 grams, I believe that's 55 grams are out, uh, but the 62 grams are here when you look at details. All right, so the stem material, here, let me pull one of these out for you. So the stem material here is palm, and the switch housing is polycarbonate. So I believe that's actually the whole housing so yeah, um, I mean, that should make sense. They're both the same color, same density. So it's that transparent, dark, emerald forest green. And then you have the nice light kind of um, lime green here on the top, like lime sherbet. Um, press wise, the, for 62 grams, I mean, they feel good. They feel, they build into it very nicely if anything a little faster i feel like the starting point is close to the grammage that it's done so probably starts at 45. let's see how about that initial force 45 actuation force 62. geez man i haven't even been in this uh game too long and i can start feeling that a little bit better now okay cool so those are um those are nice so yeah gold plated stainless steel uh per switch led compatibility smd and uh through hole so yeah pre-travel is let's see 2.0 plus 2 or 0.2 millimeters then you have actuator level, which is 4.0 millimeters. Durability is 50 million actuations. So there are switches that are like 70 million, 100 million, 200 million. Uh, these are definitely not one of them. So this isn't the longest lasting switch, but it is pretty. So there we go. Put those over here. And let's get to the test. So back to typing test. See, I'll do a three minute test again. Whoops. There we go. So this should be fine. All right, time to get this now. There we go.
76 words per minute, 93% accuracy. I was trying to, you know, force my speed to be a little higher. I should really focus on accurate accuracy over speed. But yeah, these keys don't sound too bad. Um, let's see, I'll do, they have little games on here. So I'll do the game called Jump because it's not as stressful. I don't have to use punctuation or anything like that, um, which is actually how I'm going to learn is using punctuation. But it allows me to pick uh, hard words, easy words, um, easy, medium, hard uh, difficulty. So I'll do, let's say, hard words on hard. So that's three chances. If I make three mistakes, um, it's over. So yeah. Oh, the first word is Munich. Munich. All right, here we go. And starting. Ooh, already made a mistake. Already made another mistake, geez. Yeah, that's one thing with linears in me. Um, I make, because I have shaky hands, I make a lot of mistakes on linears. And the lighter the spring, the... <laughs> that didn't last long. 42 seconds. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't last long at all. How many points? 1,300? Ugh. All right, all right, all right, I'll do one more. Do one more here. <sighs> Did it again. I think what I need to do is raise my fingers just above to like rest them, but don't actually rest on the keys. Um, I'm used to doing that with, let's see, um, tactiles and clicky switches. You can get away with that. Ooh, all right, made another mistake. That's my second mistake. That one I made because I pressed the wrong key. So a minute and 31 seconds. So yeah, these, these candies are not bad. They'll definitely be a lot nicer once they're lubed and, you know, mess with. I might try out a different of my spring or different things of my springs that I got. Um, I got Duroc gold plated springs. I have, um, you know, slow springs, I have progressive springs, I have two stage springs, I ordered multi uh, stage springs from Prevail. So yeah, there's definitely a few things coming in. Um, I'm actually going to be sending back um, this Oblivion set from Novel Keys. So it's plastic, and I really don't want a plastic case. I have one, and that's this uh, acrylic here, and I'm not a fan. So I mean, it's pretty, you know, I can see my uh, little keys light up and everything. That's nice, but uh, I don't know. I'd rather have burgundy, white, or dark blue um, aluminum. I got black already, so I don't need to worry about that. But e-white would be really nice. So, yeah. Um that that's the stock candies so again let me pull up the stats here 
So we got a linear switch with polycarbonate housing, both top and bottom, and the stem material is palm. We got a five pin PCB mount, and uh, oh, PCB mount. Well, it still mounts in the in the plate, which is nice. Um, yeah, so you got a 45 gram starting point, and let's see, 62 gram end point. So those are more like slow springs. Um, Nice return, pretty good. See, gold-plated stainless steel. The only way I'd be able to know for sure is if I popped one of these open. So actually, let me, uh, let's do that. I have it around here somewhere, what did I do with it? Oh boy, oh, there we go. My favorite cherry switch opener. So, let's see, there we go, nice and easy. So let's see, are you prolonged spring, what are you? Oh, spring's actually damaged. Look at that. So that came damaged. Okay, and these look like they're just standard. Um, these look like they're standard long springs. Uh, they're symmetrical. Nothing special about them. But that spring is damaged. Oops. You know what? I'm just going to leave this key out because um, that's a problem. Okay. I'm actually going to have to open all of these eventually. So I'll see which uh, springs are damaged. I might not keep any of the springs, stock springs for that matter, or I'll keep the good ones in a separate container and go from there. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate your love, your support, and I hope you're having a wonderful day out there. Let me know down in the comments and everything of what you thought about these keys. And yeah, I tried them with the SA profile. I'll probably eventually make videos where I edit everything and try GMK, um, SA, and PBT, and XDA, you know, and other kinds of profiles, and different brands, um, different plastics, you know, things like that, uh, to test. So you can get the sounds. But this is just an all the way through, just like if it was live. Um, because um, that's the way I like doing things. Um, editing is fun. I've done editing for other projects that I've done, and... It's fun, it's time consuming, but it's fun. It makes it really nice and concise. You can take something that's 10 minutes and cut it down to like three or five. But anyways, uh, I'll bookmark down below as usual. And once again, you know, like, subscribe, and share to your friends if you like this content. And also check out other keyboard uh, enthusiasts such as Shubes, uh, there's Taya types which I'm pretty sure you know about, and Taya is definitely not going to know about me. <laughs> and that's okay. None of them are going to know about me, and that's all right. Uh, Wildcat is one of my personal favorites. Probably my favorite because, um, you know, he's the one that I stumbled onto and eventually wanted to be in the keyboard community because of him. You got Glarses, who does some awesome videos. Um, you got Hippio, who makes some really interesting content. Very funny. He just went to the Gateron, um, you know, manufacturer place uh, recently. So check that out. And as always, much love, guys. Stay safe out there. This is Kibijibis, and I'm out. Bye-bye.